Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to share with you five ways to get creative with Divi's person module. These are the final results we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. We're going to give a page our name. I'm just going to call mine five ways, but you can name your page, whatever you want. And then I'm going to click on use Divi Builder. So here we have three options, build from scratch, choose pre-made layout and clone existing. So we're going to build our page from scratch. So I'm going to click here on build from scratch. Next, we're going to choose our column structure. So I'm going to go with four equal parts. And then I'm just going to close this for now. Now we need to go into the row settings. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon to enter my row settings. Now I prefer designing my sites with this snap to the left. So I'm going to snap my settings to the left. And then I'm going to click here on design sizing. And then we are going to make this row full width. We're going to come over here to our gutter width and set this to one. Right. So the next stage is to go to our spacing options and we are going to add a top padding and bottom padding of hundred. So just to um, speed up the process, just activate this chain if your settings are the same, both for the top and the bottom. So in this case, it's 100. And you can see here, the 100 has been applied both to the top and the bottom. Now, I also need to add a padding of 100, both to the left and the right. So I'm going to add that, activate my chain. And we might as well go in and set our settings for the mobile devices. So I'm going to click here on my tablet and set this to 80. So make sure you've clicked on the tablet tab. I'm going to set this to 80, activate my chain, do the same over here, set this to 80. Now this value is also going to be the same for the smartphone. So I'm just going to make sure that um, I enter my values here. Okay. So now that I have all my values in place, I'm just going to click back on the uh, desktop tab. Now let's add an image module to column one. But before we do that, we just need to save our row settings. Click this plus button and search for our image module. And then I'm going to select it. Right. So I'm going to click here, go to my media library and look for my image. So the image I'm going to use is this one right here. So I'm going to select it. Click on upload an image. Now I'm going to go to my box shadow. So I'm going to click here on design box shadow. And I'm going to go with this first design here. So we just want this drop shadow to be very, very subtle. So we just want to leave this as it is. Now, what you could also do is to come over here to the filters and play around with the filters to achieve a specific look. So on the contrast, I'm going to set this to about 40%. In fact, let's make this 130. And for the saturation, I'm going to set this to 40%. And then we're going to save. Now over here on column two, let's add our person module. So I'm going to search for it and select it. So we can give our name here. So we're going to call this uh, Jessica Joe. And for the position, let's call, let's call this marketing director. Now let's go ahead and add a gradient background. So I'm just going to come over here, click on background, add the second tab. I mean, click the second tab and click this plus button to add our colors. So I'm going to start with the first color here. Now this color is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm just going to paste my value between the brackets, just like that. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the description below. Now it's time to enter our second color. So I'm just going to click here to select the color. And again, this is an RGBA value. So notice that I'm dragging this slider over here to the right. And then I'm going to paste just like that. Now let's go head over to the gradient direction and change this from 180 to 150. Right. So what we will need to do next is to get rid of this image here. So I'm going to come over here to the image and delete that and also get rid of the uh, content in here. I'm going to scroll down and just get rid of all this content. Great. So now the next stage is to go into the design tab and customize our body text settings. So I'm going to start here with the title font and I'm going to search for my font called Baloo. I'm going to select it. And then over here, I'm going to change my title color to white. Now I'm going to come over here to my body text. So first of all, let's change our font weight to light and our color to white. 
And then we're going to scroll all the way down here to our spacing and let's add some margins. So I'm going to start off with my margin left, minus 4VW. And we might as well go in and set our margins for the smartphone. So I'm going to click here on this little icon, click on the phone tab. And on the phone tab, this needs to be 0VW. Okay, so now you can see it's just snapped into place. Great, so I'm going to come over here back to the uh, desktop tab. So for the right margin, we're going to set this to 8VW. And again, for the smart for the smartphone, we're going to change this and set it to 0. Okay, back on the uh, desktop tab. Now let's add our padding of 25, both to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to activate my chain. So now our text has some breathing space on the top and the bottom. And we also need to add some left padding like that. So now that looks much better. Now let's head over to the border and we are going to add a left border and we're going to set this to three pixels and we're going to change the color to white. And then over here on the box shadow, we're going to choose this first style and change our blur strength to 80%. Right, so we're done for now. Let's go ahead and save. Now we need to add another person module to column two. So I'm going to click this plus button, search for my person module. I'm going to select it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add some dummy links for our social media profiles. So as you can see, the moment I enter uh, this link, these icons now are starting to appear here on the bottom. Now what we could also do is go into the design tab and change these icon colors by coming over here to icon. And then I'm going to paste my color in here. Now back over here on the content, what I'm going to do as well is to get rid of this image and also the title and position. Right, so now it's time to go to the padding so we can so that we can adjust our spacing and text settings. So I'm going to click here on design, spacing, and I'm going to add a top padding of 30 just to give this some breathing space. And we're also going to add a left padding of 30 over here so that it's not very close to the uh, to the image right here. Right, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and also make some adjustments for our tablet and smartphone. So I'm going to come over here to the phone tab and set this to zero. And notice what happens when I set this to zero. Now it fills in more of the space, which is great. Okay, so now that it's done. That's pretty much our design for our first example. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. Now let's work on the next example. So I'm going to click this plus button here to add my new section. It's going to be a regular section. And again, we're going to have four columns. So I'm just going to close this for now and then go into my row settings. So over here, we're going to add some background colors. So I'm going to start here with our column two background color. So I'm going to come over here to column two click this plus button to add my background color and paste it just like that. We're going to come over here to design, sizing. Uh, just like what we did before, we're going to make this row full width. We're going to come over here to gutter width, set this to one, and we're going to equalize the column height. Now let's go, let's come over here to spacing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a top and bottom padding of a hundred. So as we did before, we're just going to activate this chain. And for the tablet and phone, we're going to set this to 80. But before we do that, we might as well enter our left and right padding. Activate my chain. And then I'm going to click on this little icon and go into my tablet. And here we're going to set this to 80. And then on the phone, it's going to be the same value, 80 throughout. Okay, great. So I'm just going to go ahead now and save, and then we're going to come over here to column one and add an image module. Select it. So I'm going to choose my image. Upload an image. And then we're going to come over here to design and add a box shadow. So we're going to go with the first design here. And the box shadow blur strength needs to be set to 160. So I'm going to enter my 160 here. So now you can see here that my blur has increased in strength. Right, so as we did before, let's head over to the filters and we are going to start with the saturation of 40. So I'm going to edit here. And then we are also going to add a contrast of 130. And then save. Right, so over here we're going to add a person module. So I'm going to search for it. Select it. 
So as we did before, we're going to give this a name and this is going to be Jessica Jones. So the position, just as before, I'm going to set this to marketing director. And then we're going to get rid of the, all this text and also the image. Right, so over here on the background color, we're going to add our color, but this is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to just drag the slider down a little bit until I get the RGBA values and then paste my values between the brackets. Now, if you want to use the same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, as I mentioned before, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so moving on, I'm going to scroll down here and uh, go to my text orientation. So I'm going to click here on design text and then I'm going to set my orientation to centered. So now we're going to start with the title font and uh, we need to change this font from the default to Abril Fat Face. So I'm going to search for it and here it is. We're going to change our text color to black and the size to 40. Now it's time to make changes to the body, uh, to the body text. So I'm going to scroll down here to the body text settings, change our font to light and the color to black just like uh, we have here on the uh, title. And we're going to change the size from 14 to 15 pixels. Now it's time to head over here to the spacing. So I'm going to click here on spacing and we're going to start off with our left margin. And this is going to be minus 21.6. Now, while we add it, let's add our tablet settings. So I'm going to set our tablet settings to minus 46. And for the phone, we're going to set this to 0VW. Now it's time to add our padding. So we're going to start off with our padding top and padding bottom of 30. So I'm going to come over here into my 30 and activate my chain so that my value is applied both to the top and the bottom. So when you take a look here at what we've just done, we've just created some breathing space here on the name and the title which is great design. Okay, so now it's time to go over here to the box shadow. I'm gonna choose my style. And then over here for the blur strength, we're gonna set this to 80 and then save. Right, so over here, we're gonna add another person module. So I'm gonna search for it. So as we did before, we're just gonna add some social media links here, but I'm just gonna add some dummy links for now so that our icon can show and then now, now they're now showing over here. Okay, so what we're going to do here again on the image, we're going to get rid of this image and also the title and the position. And then over here on design, we're going to go to our icons and set our icon colors to black just to match our titles over here on the top. Now, as you can see, we don't have enough breathing space in this area here. So let's go to our spacing and add our top margin of 3VW. We also need to add our top padding and bottom padding of 30. Activate my chain. And we also need some left margin, left margin and right margin. Okay, so that looks much better now. So pretty much this is our second style. So let's go ahead and save. So as we did before, we're going to add a new section. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, add a regular section for columns. And then I'm just going to close this for now and then go into the row settings. In fact, uh, because we use the same settings here, what we're going to do is we are going to copy all the uh, row settings and paste them onto our row that we've just created. So I'm going to copy the row styles and paste them here. Great. So what we need to do now is just to go into our row settings, design, spacing. So what we need to do here is just to make sure that our settings here are okay for our tablets and also our smartphones. So I'm going to start off here with the padding, click here on this little icon and then check my tablet. So at the moment, our padding is set to 80. So this needs to be set to 30. And for the phone, the padding needs to be set to 25. And for the top and bottom here, this is okay because we have 80 and the same for the phone. Great, so all the settings that we need are now in place. So let's head over now and add our person module to column one. So I'm just gonna save this for now. 
click this plus button, search for my person module, and then select it. So let's start off with the name. And then we're going to add a background color. So I'm going to click here on background, click this plus button and add white as our background color. And then over here, we need to get rid of this image and the text. So all we need is the name and the position. So I'm going to delete that. Now let's head over here to the design tab and set our title font weight and colors. So I'm going to click here on title text. I'm going to change our font weight to ultra bold and our color to black and the size to 40 pixels. Now this time we're going to add a letter spacing of minus four pixels. And then we're going to move here to the body text. And for the body text, we are going to change our font weight to light and the color to black and the size to 15. Now it's time to go to the spacing tab. So I'm going to click here on spacing. So first of all, we're going to add a margin of 40 to the top, top padding of 30 and 30 on the bottom as well. And then left and right is also 30. Now over here on the top for the custom margin, uh, let's go in and set our margin for on uh, onto zero for the tablet and the phone. So I'm going to come over here set this to zero and zero for the phone as well. Now for this, we, go, we are going to add a different uh, design to this. So let's head over here to our border. And what we're going to do here is we're going to add, in fact, we have to break the chain first because we want um, our top left corner to have 20 pixels. And then we're going to come over here to our box shadow and choose the first style. And you can see here my 20 pixels has been applied and it's only on the top left. Okay, so now that we have our box shadow let's go ahead and make some further adjustments so i'm going to scroll down here until i get to my blur strength because this is where we need to change this from 18 to 140. okay so that's looking good so far next we're going to add our shadow color so our color here by default is this light gray which has a transparency but we need our own custom one so i'm going to paste my value between these brackets just like that and now we have this beautiful color so for now, we're going to save and then we're going to add a person module to column one. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, search for my person module, select it. So this time we're going to remove the name, remove the position, add our social links. Okay, so we can see here that they've been added here on the bottom. So what I'm going to do next is to get rid of our image and click here and delete that. Right, so here we also need to add a background color. So I'm going to click this plus button, add white to my background color. And then we're going to click here on design, go to our icons and set our colors, our icon colors to black so that it matches the name and the title. So as you can see, um, all our text here is way too close to the edge. So we need to come over here and add our margins. So we're going to come over here to spacing and add 30 to the top and bottom left and right and make sure you activate this chain because these sizes are being added both to the left and right top and bottom and then over here for the custom margin i'm going to set this to 0.5 vw right so over here we're going to go to the border break this chain and add 20 pixels to the bottom and then finally let's add our box shadow so i'm going to come over here choose my box shadow so let's start with the vertical position because this time we're going to set this to 50 pixels and our box shadow blur strength, we're going to set this to 140. And for the spread strength, we're going to set this to minus 10. And then we're going to add our color by replacing what we have here in the, between the brackets like that. And then save. Now over here on column two, we need to add an image. So I'm going to search for my image module, select it. And then I'm going to choose my image from my media library here. Click on my image, upload an image. And then we're going to come over here to design border. And this time we're going to add 20 pixels to all the borders. So now we have a beautiful rounded corners here on this image. All right. So that's looking great. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to just save this for now and then go into my row settings, background and remove column two background color, just like that. Okay. And then save now back over here. I'm going to go into my image module, click on design. And then I'm going to come over here to my box shadow and choose my style. 
and change my blur strength. And this time this needs to be set to 80. Now let's go to the filters. So let's start off with our saturation and set this to 40 and our contrast to 130. And pretty much this is our design for this example. Right, so let's go ahead and save. Now let's recreate example number four. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, click on regular. So this time our column structure is slightly different. I'm gonna choose this one right here. I'm gonna close this for now and then I'm gonna go into our row settings. Click on design, sizing, make this row full width. And then we're gonna activate our gutter width and set this to one. I'm gonna head over here to spacing. So for our top and bottom padding, we're gonna set this to 100, activate the chain. And for the tablet, in fact, we might as well enter our left and right. And again, this is gonna be 100. Now let's go into our mobile devices and set this. So here on the tablet, this needs to be set to 80 and the same for the smartphone. So that's gonna be 80 as well. And then over here for the left and right, uh, this needs to be set to 30 for the tablet and 25 for the phone. Okay, great. So now that we've added all our spacing values, let's go ahead and save. And then on column one, we need to add a person module. So I'm gonna search for it and select it. So we're gonna start here by adding our social media links. I'm gonna remove the image and we also need to enter our name. So now let's go to the uh, icon settings and set the color to black. And for the text settings, let's, let's set our text orientation to center. Right, so let's start with our title font and we're gonna set this to ultra bold and the color needs to be black. And the size, we're gonna set this to 40. Now, as we did before in the previous example, let's set our letter spacing to minus four. Okay, now let's move over here to the body text settings. And here again, we're gonna set this to light. Our size is gonna be 15 and the color is gonna be black. And for the body line height, we're gonna set this to 2EM. Now let's head over to the spacing. So I'm gonna click here on spacing and let's start off with our top padding of 280. So I'm gonna set this to 280 and this is the same size for the bottom as well. So I've activated the chain. Left and right padding is going to be 200. Activate my chain again. Now let's add our values for our tablet and phone. So let's start with the tablet and this is going to be 200 and 150. And for the phone, this needs to be set to 50 and 20. Okay, so that's, that looks much better now on the phones and that looks nice on the tablet as well and perfect for the desktop. Great, so moving on, the next thing we're gonna do now is to head over to the borders. So we're gonna set this to 700 and notice that the 700 has been applied to all the sides and then we're gonna come over here to the border width and set this to one. So now we have a perfect circle. Let's add our border colors by clicking here on this eyedropper tool and in fact, our color is right. So it's all threes. So I'm gonna save this for now. Right, so over here we need to add an image. So I'm gonna search for my image module, select it. And then I'm gonna add my image, upload an image. Great, so the next stage is to come over here to design, spacing. So we're gonna add a top margin of seven VW. And left here, we're gonna add minus five VW. Right, so over here on the border, we're gonna add a thousand pixels to all the sides to form a perfect circle. And then we're gonna come over here to the box shadow, choose our style. And then we're gonna choose our blur strength of minus, I mean of 160. And the spread strength of minus 10. Now it's time to head over to our filters. So I'm gonna click here on filters and I'm gonna start with the saturation, bring this all the way down to zero. And then our contrast, we need to set this to 130. So pretty much this is our design. Let's go ahead now and save. Now you'll notice that uh, my circle here is not a full circle. So you may want to go back in here and adjust, our, I mean, adjust your borders. So I'm gonna just click here on borders and uh, perhaps set this to a thousand. So this is just going to depend on the size of your monitor, okay? So just go ahead and adjust that. So over here, this part here is really annoying me. Let me just go back in and uh, see what size we need for the border. 
Okay, so let's move on to our fifth example. So I'm going to come over here and click this plus button to add our section. And for our column structure, this time we're going to go with uh, this structure. So I'm going to select it and we're just going to close this for now. And let's go into our row settings. So here on our row settings, let's start with, let's start by going to our background and uh, we are going to add a column one background gradient. So here on column one, Let's click on the second tab, click this plus button, and let's start by adding our first color. So I'm gonna click here to select my first color. I'm gonna paste my color in here, and my second color is going to be white. And for my column one gradient direction, we're gonna set this to 90, because by default it's set to 180. And for our start and end position, this is gonna be 40 and 40%. Next, we're going to come over here to design sizing. We're going to make this full width and we're also going to activate the gutter width and set this to one. Now let's head over to the spacing and uh, we're going to start with our top padding on and bottom padding of 100. Activate our chain so that our values will be applied both to the top and the bottom. And then we're going to come over here, add left and right, activate the chain. So over here on the um, tablets, uh, we're going to set this to 80. So I'm going to add my 80 here and left and right is 30. Right. So for the smartphone, I'm going to change this 30 to 25. All right. Great. So all our custom margins are now set. Next, we're going to add a person module to column one. So I'm going to save this, click this plus button and search for person module, select it. So again, let's enter our name, marketing director, and then we're going to add uh, social media links. Now we don't need the, the image for this. So I'm going to get rid of the image. Now let's head over here and set our icon settings. So the color is going to be black. And now we're going to go to the text settings. So first of all, the orientation is going to be set to right. So let's start with our title font. So our title font here, we're going to, we're going to choose a font called Chandler. We're going to set the color to black and uh, also the size to about 50. So we want this nice and big. And for the letter spacing, we're gonna set this to minus one. Now let's head over to the bo uh, body text settings. So let's start with the font weight. We're gonna set this to light, color to black, size to 15, and our line height to 2EM. And now we're gonna go over to the spacing and we are going to start off with our top padding and bottom padding of 200, activate our chain, and then for our left padding, we're going to set this to 500 and to the right, it's going to be 200. Now let's head over and uh, set our tablet sizes. So for the tablet, it's going to be a hundred top and bottom, and then 250 and a hundred. And then for the phone, this is going to be 50, both to the left and the right. Okay. So now that we've set our spacing, the next stage now is to go to the borders. So we're going to come over here to border. So the width needs to be set to three. And then for the style, let's set it to dashed. So we're done for now. Let's go ahead and save. And then over here, let's add an image module. So I'm going to search for it. Select it. We're going to choose our image. And then upload it. Now let's head over here to a design spacing and we need to add a top margin of a 7VW. And for our left margin here, we're going to set it to minus 10VW. And then we're going to go into the tablet mode and set this to zero. And the top margin to minus 2VW. Right, so let's head over here to our box shadows and we're going to choose our first style. And for our blur strength, we're going to set this to 160. And our spread strength to minus 10. Right, so it's time now to add all our filters. So I'm going to come here to filters. And uh, for this time, for our saturation, we're going to set this to 50. And our contrast to 130. So pretty much this is our final design. Let's go ahead and save. And then let's save the page and do our final preview. So I'm going to exit the visual builder. So this is our first design, second design. And that's our final one. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
And if you have any questions regarding these tutorials, please leave your questions in the comments box below and I'll do my best to respond to them. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.